fucking crap. I swear to God, if I if I'm all the way back in the council chambers. Uh... What's up, guys? My name is Nirok, and we're gonna get back into Mass Effect. This is part three. Look at that. Uh, look at what? All right. Well, sorry about the last video being so uh, talkative rather than actually getting a lot of progression done. I kind of needed a lot of refresher course because it's been years since I've played this and, you know, I just had to kind of catch myself up and I wanted to make sure that I got enough of the codex entries and talk to enough people that when I do make the little side video for the codexes that I'm able to have the lore set up and presented properly for the first game. I don't know if I'm going to do it for each subsequent game. What? This one. The one over by the keeper. But it, it, he's twitching the fuck out. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, I'm gonna try to start actually getting down with uh, all the side quests, assignments, and stuff. So let's just hang in there, guys. What? Oh no, I wasn't. Never mind. Um. Yes, is there something you want? Why are you so interested in the Keepers? Keepers? I've got no interest in the keep. Don't get coy. I know what I saw. I, uh... I'm not so sure I should be talking to you about this. Just tell me what you're doing. I'm not here to get you into trouble. All right. I guess it wouldn't hurt to tell you. I'm using a small scanner to gather readings on the Keepers. So far I've had mixed results. I find it difficult to get near the creatures. Why were you being so secretive about it, though? Well, technically we're not supposed to disturb the Keepers. I don't really think my scanning disturbs them, but the authorities might disagree. I'd like to do it more openly, but it's not really worth getting arrested over. I could help you out. I'm not worried about the authorities. I don't even know who you are. I'm Commander Shepard, with the Alliance Military. Hmm. Well, I, I suppose I could use the help. You'll need this. It's the scanning device I developed. Activate it each time you see a Keeper. All collected data will automatically upload to my database. I'll even send a few credits your way for each unique scan. Got it. I should get going then. Yes, I have much work myself. So long, and good luck with the scanning. Alright, so we'll try to find all these little Keepers here. And, uh, see where it goes. Alright then, I think I found all the keepers and all the people who were going to give me assignments. Let's go ahead and head back down to the Presidium, head back over to Bar, and uh, grab some of the keepers in the Presidium level before we head down to the wards in Khor's Den. Very clear several times now, Ashley. Do you desire to learn of the Inkindlers? Or has the Honorable CSEC officer enlisted assistance? What's going on here? The CSEC officer requests that this one purchase an evangelical permit to spread the truth of the Inkindlers. If that's all the CSEC officer wants, why not just buy the permit? The truth of the Inkindlers is universal. This one humbly believes that the truth should not be suppressed. Exacting payment as a means of imposing limits upon the truth is an abrogation of this one's religious freedom. So you're breaking the law by preaching without a permit right now? The CSEC officer states that preaching in this place is forbidden, and preaching anywhere on the Citadel requires a permit. This one humbly submits that it is not preaching to state the truth of the Enkindlers, and thus, no permit should be necessary. Who are the Enkindlers? Your people know them as the Protheans. They are the true creators of this one's people. 
The enkindlers raise the Hanar from ignorance into consciousness by granting this one's people the gift of speech. Let me talk to the CSEC officer. Perhaps I can explain the situation. This one would be most grateful for the assistance. That Hanar refuses to listen to reason. Why can't it act in an orderly and lawful manner? Are there laws being broken here? I am not unreasonable. The Hanar is free to spew its nonsense once it purchases an evangelical permit. If you'd like, I could talk to the Hanar for you. I have argued with the stubborn jelly all afternoon. You... Has the CSEC officer been assuaged? I'll keep working on it. This one hey. will continue no. to spread hey. its message. Talk to me, shithead. Has the CSEC officer been assuaged? Is this really how you want to represent the Enkindlers? The truth of the Enkindlers must be made known. They gave the Hanar language and gave the universe the mass relays. This one only wishes to spread the truth to any who will listen. There is no intent to cause trouble. Damn it. I don't have enough charm yet. I haven't leveled up. I guess I can come back, back. and hit it. This one yeah, I'll come back once I level message. up. Yes, Commander. Is there something you need? You and Saren have a history. What happened? About 20 years ago, I was part of a mission in the Skillian Verge. I was working with Saren to find and remove a known terrorist threat. Saren eliminated his target, but a lot of people died along the way. Innocent people. And the official records just covered it all up. But I saw how he operates. No conscience. No hesitation. He'd kill a thousand innocent civilians to end a war without a second thought. Tell me about Barla Vaughn. He specializes in moving large sums of money without leaving a paper trail. A financial genius doesn't do... He's got an impressive client list. I should go. I'll be here if you need anything. How you holding up, Lieutenant? Not too bad. No headaches worth mentioning lately. Maybe I'm getting used to the strain. Maybe you've just got a good stress release. I know that knocking the gaff on their synthetic asses gets rid of my headaches. Do you really think we'll find him down here? He always stops in for a few games of Quasar before he makes his drop. Fist is going to be pissed if we take down his supplier. That's the point. We want him angry. Angry people make mistakes. There's just something about this that makes me nervous. Good. He's a dangerous man. Now keep your eyes peeled for our mark. Hmm. So a guy named Fist. All right. In light of the recent attack on Eden Prime, many colonial investors are pulling their support for future projects. Proponents of expanded human colonization insist that Eden Prime was an isolated case. Nevertheless, colonist enrollment has dropped sharply. Many colonial proposals are on hold until backers have some reassurance that human colonies will be adequately protected. Commander Shepard! I'm Emily Wong. I'm an investigative journalist working here on the Citadel. Could I have a moment of your time? What do you need? I've been hunting for evidence of corruption and organized crime on the Citadel, but there are places I can't go. I was hoping you might share anything you find during your own investigation. I can make it worth your time. How do you know that my investigation is going to uncover anything you need? You wouldn't be investigating if it weren't big. And if it's big, it's something I'd like to hear about. How do you know I'm investigating anything here on the Citadel? I'm a good journalist, Commander Shepard. Word gets around. You've got to have access to better sources. Why contact me? I'm using every source I can find, but I think I've got a better shot with you. I've read your file. If anyone is going to uncover corruption here, it's the hero of the Skillian Blitz. No promises. But if I find anything relating to your case, I'll inform you. Thank you, Commander. You won't regret it. Cool. Excuse me. Let's check out the bar. I don't think this is Corazden. I think this is something else. I don't 
don't think you bought this here. I don't sell this mod. Look, I know it was you. I remember your face. Really? That's impressive. Usually you humans can't tell one Turian from another. This was the place! Now are you gonna give me a refund or not? Do you have your proof of purchase? What? No, no, I, I, I don't think you ever gave me one. I'm sorry, Ben. I can't help you. But, what, what do you... Can't help you. Is that really... What? You're Commander Shepard, the hero of Eden Prime. I am so honored to meet you. Nice to meet you. And you are... My name is Conrad. Conrad Werner. They say you killed more than a hundred Geth on Eden Prime. They say a lot of things. I was too busy killing them to count. Hey, I know you're probably busy, but um, do you have time for a quick autograph? <laughs> Here you go. Thanks. I really appreciate it. My wife is going to be so impressed. I'll let you get back to work. Oh, but next time you're on Earth, I'd love to buy you a drink. Thanks again. I think he uses that for nefarious reasons. But we'll see. Wow, a Krogan. What? What's happening? Oh, don't you dare crash on me. Motherfucker. Alright, so... Let's try to figure out how far back I am. Before I actually get mad. Having the game fucking crash. I swear to god, if, I, if I'm all the way back in the council chambers. Uh, be right back, guys. How about we hit this spot before we go down, just to jumpstart something. Is there anything I can do for you today, Commander? I've heard you work for the Shadow Broker. Do you have any information about Saren? You're very blunt, Shepard. But you're right. I am an agent for the Shadow Broker. And I do know something about Saren. I hear your information can be expensive. Normally, this information would cost a small fortune, but these are exceptional circumstances, so I am going to give it to you for free. What's the catch? There is no catch. The Shadow Broker is quite upset with Saren right now. They used to do a lot of business until Saren turned on him. Saren's turned on a lot of people. I don't know the details, but the Shadow Broker hired a freelancer to deal with it. A Krogan mercenary. That's not much to go on. I just told you that the most famous Spectre in the galaxy betrayed the Shadow Broker. Quite a bargain, considering the price. Speak with the Krogan if you want to learn more. I heard he was paying a visit to Citadel Security. If you hurry, you might catch him before he leaves the Academy. Thanks for the info. Cool. My pleasure, Commander. So now that all that's there, we can probably move on and uh, get back to where we were without anything all screwed up. Ooh, I missed this. Very impressive. Place. That your professional opinion, sir? This isn't a station. It's a city. There must be millions here. It can't be possible to track everyone coming and going. This makes Jump Zero look like a portage on, and it's the largest deep space station the Alliance has. Jump Zero is big, but this is a whole mother scale. Look at the ward arms. How do they keep all that mass from flying apart? The Council represents more races than I thought. No wonder they're careful with newcomers. 
They probably just want to keep everything running. It has to be hard keeping all these cultures working together. Or maybe they just don't like humans. Why not? We've got oceans, beautiful women, this emotion called love. According to the old vids, we have everything they want. If you expect to get me in a tinfoil miniskirt and thigh-high boots, I want dinner first. <laughs> Sir. <laughs> that will be enough, Chief. At ease, Lieutenant. Can't see her in a skirt anyway. Damn straight you can't. Ready to move out, sir. <laughs> Alright, so that was a little awkward. I don't think I've ever experienced that little dialogue Commander right there. Shepard? Excuse me, Commander Shepard! I don't crash my game. Don't crash my game, don't crash my game, don't crash my game, don't crash my game. Okay, cool. For my requisitions... Whoa, 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 please don't. God damn. This game runs so much better on PC, I guess. I don't remember it being like this for the 360 at all, but whatever. So Cora's Den is back behind me. So I just want to make sure I examine the wards here. Whoa, what? game Jesus with the frame rate All targets down. all right so uh I got business here, but not with you. Oh, there's the general. Commander! <laughs> what do you want? What's bothering you, General? I've seen a lot of horrible things in my days, and... There's only one woman in this damn galaxy that helps me forget it. So if you feel that way, then why spread lies about her? Because she rejected me! ME! Septima Soraka, General of the Turian Fleet. Is she really worth it? There must be other women. It's not just any woman I want. It's, it's her, and her alone. Look, kid, I appreciate what you're trying to do, but don't waste your time. Ah, oh, damn it. Why is it make it? Okay. You need to start acting like a general if you want to beat this. I spent all my life acting like a general, and what did it get me? Huh? No. Those days are over. I'll just be what I am. A tired, lonely, worn-out soldier. You're a damn general. Quit your whining. Ha! <laughs> you got balls, kid. There are only five people in this damn galaxy who talk to me like that. So you think it's that easy? Just straighten up and act like a general? I don't think it could hurt. Huh. Maybe you're right, Commander. Shaira's worth the effort. Even if she won't have me back. This is no place for someone of your stature, General. All right. I'll go to her. After I've had a cold shower or two. Say, you're a bright kid. Would you be interested in earning a few extra credits? What do you want me to do? There's an Elcor diplomat out there who believes Shaira gave up his secrets. Why does he think that? Because I told him. Look, I just need you to convince him of the truth. What makes you think you'll believe me? You'll bring him proof. Take this data pad. It shows where I got my info. It will exonerate Shaira and convince the Elcor. Who am I taking it to, and where is he? His I name know where is he Seltan. Is. He's an Elcor diplomat. He's over in the embassies complaining about Shaira. Well, here's to soldiers acting like soldiers. 
Thanks, Commander. You know, you might make a good general yourself one day. Hard to imagine a general like that getting so upset about a woman. <laughs> Alliance military. <laughs> I could have been a Marine, you know. Instead, I joined the goddamn Citadel Security. Biggest mistake of my life. Harkin, right? I was told you could help me find someone. A Turian CSEC officer named Garrus. Garrus? <laughs> you must be one of Captain Anderson's crew. Poor bastard still trying to bring Saren down, eh? I know where Garrus is, but you gotta tell me something first. Did the captain let you in on his big secret? I just need to know where Garrus is. But it's all related, don't you see? The captain used to be a specter. Didn't know that, did you? It was all very hush-hush. The first human ever given that honor, and then he blew it. Screwed up his mission so bad they kicked him out. Of course, he blames Saren. Says the Turians set him up. You said they covered all this up. How'd you hear about it? I spent 20 years working cases here on the Citadel. People on this station love to talk. Secrets are like herpes. If you got them, you might as well spread them around. Just tell me where Garrus went. Garrus was sniffing around Dr. Michelle's office. She runs the med clinic on the other side of the wards. Last I heard, he was going back there. All right, I'm out of here. Yeah, good. Go. Let me drink in peace. Yeah, let's go ahead and head to the CSEC Academy, see if we can run into that mercenary Krogan. Hey, I know you. You're Shepard, right? I was on Mindwar during the Blitz, saw you on the vids when you got your medal. You saved the whole colony. Looks like you have a fan. I'm sorry, I just never thought I'd meet someone like you in person. Uh, my name's Lang, Officer Eddie Lang, Citadel Security. It's an honor to meet you, Commander. What are you doing down here in the wards? Anything I can help you with? Do you know a CSEC officer named Harkin? I shouldn't really say too much. He's been on the force a lot longer than me. But I've heard things, you know? Drinking on the job, taking bribes, that kind of thing. Rumors mostly, but they suspended him, so some of it must be true. Why'd you join Citadel Security? I don't know. Seemed like the right thing to do, you know? Maybe it's in my blood. My grandfather was a cop back on Earth. It's kind of what CSEC is. Police for the Citadel. I'm still pretty new at it, but I like it so far. Way more interesting than staying back on Earth. You get to meet all kinds of cool aliens. Like those Hanar. Wild. Plus, CSEC gets a lot of respect here. We uphold the law. People, even aliens, appreciate that. I have to go. Right. You're probably real. See you around, Commander. No problem, my dude. It's the Krogan. Hey, it's Rex. Witnesses saw you making threats in Fist's bar. Stay away from him. I don't take orders from you. This is your only warning, Rex. You should warn Fist. I will kill him. You want me to arrest you? I want you to try. Go on. Get out of here. Yes, human. I'm trying to bring down Saren. Barlavon said to talk to you. Barlavon is a wise man. We may share a common goal, human. Enlighten me. I've been hired to kill the owner of Korra's den, a man named Fist. He did something very foolish. What did he do? He betrayed the Shadow Broker. A Quarian showed up here on the Citadel. She was on the run. She wanted to trade information for a safe place to hide, so she went to Fist. He promised to arrange a meeting between her and the Shadow Broker. Instead, he contacted Saren. Fist's not too smart. He's just greedy. Saren paid him a small fortune for the Quarian. He had to. She has evidence connecting him to the Geth. Oh shit. If we get our hands on that evidence, we can prove that Saren's a traitor. And the Council will have to listen to us. 
Where's the Quarian now? Last I heard, Fist still had her. Probably somewhere inside his club. You help me kill Fist, she's all yours. Time we paid Fist a visit. What about Garrus, that Turian? He wants to take Saren down too. He might come in handy. He was here just before you showed up. Said he was going to follow up a lead on his investigation. Wanted to speak to the doctor at the med clinic. Move out. All right, so... So the achievements that I don't have is having Ashley, Caden, and the Asari character. I think her name is Liara. I don't have the achievements of having them in the party uh, for the majority of the game. So I think I'm going to try to keep... Uh, Caden as one of the primary characters in my group for a while. Alright, so we're going to explore the CSEC office real quick and then we'll head over there to Cora's Den and uh, the medical clinic. Okay, Julie. Let me get this straight. Never mind. Business Might have something sure. here. He's threatened you? Well, no. Uh, not exactly. But he wants to meet with me. I think he's going to kill me. And why do you think that? I... I can't really get into the details. But Shorbin will kill me if I leave here unprotected. I can't help you. Not unless you give me something more to go on. I... I can't. I'm sorry. Hey there! Oh, you're not CSEC, are you? Did you want something? What were you trying to explain to the officer before? My colleague is trying to kill me, and I thought we were friends. How do you know he wants you dead? He's changed. He won't talk to me at work anymore, and he started following me. Yesterday, he followed me all the way home, just waiting for a chance. I don't care what anyone thinks. He wants me gone. I know it. Is there something I can do? Talk to your friend, maybe? Would you? That's all I want. Someone to talk to him. Tell him to leave me alone. He thinks he can just push me around, but you'll show him, won't you? Just tell me where he is and I'll go find him. Oh, right. Well, he wanted to meet with me down in the wards near the markets. He said he just wanted to talk, but I know better. His name's Shorbin. He's a Salarian. You shouldn't have any trouble. He's just a scientist. Shorbin? That's the guy who asked us to scan the Keepers. The Keepers? Well, even more reason to go after him. That's against regulations. I better look into this right away. Find out what he's up to. Anything's possible with Shorbin these days. Well, good luck! Okay, so I was going to explore for more of the uh, Keepers, but now it seems like we just got involved in a scandal. So, uh, let's keep exploring. 17 out of 21. Okay, so there's only a few left. Okay, so the Consort. I need to speak with Shaira. I'll complete that. Need to complete a few of those. Okay. Okay. Whoa, 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 hey. I didn't tell anyone, I swear! That was smart, Doc. Now if Garrus comes around, you stay smart. Keep your mouth shut or we'll... Who are you? Let her go! Ah! Good shot, Garrus. All good? Dead and done. Just the way I like them. God, I like Rex. Perfect timing, Shepard. Gave me a clear shot at that bastard. You took him down clean. Sometimes you get lucky. Dr. Michelle, 
Are you hurt? No, I'm okay. Thanks to you. All of you. I know those men threatened you. But if you tell us who they work for, we can protect you. They work for Feast. They wanted to shut me up. Keep me from telling Garrus about the Quarian. The one I told you about, Shepard. She must be able to link Saren to the Geth. There is no way the Council can ignore this. Time we paid Fist a visit. This is your show, Shepard. But I want to bring Saren down as much as you do. I'm coming with you. Welcome aboard, Garrus. Fist is going to be waiting for us. When we hit him, we better hit him hard. Alright, yeah. So I'm going to have Garrus and Rex in my party for this. Damn it. Then I get Tali and Liara later. Alright. Oh, renegade points. No, whatever. Alright, boys, let's go. Oh, there's a whole nother bar up here. What? Everyone knows Fist isn't with the local criminals. Maybe, but I will go shouting it from the mountaintops. Yeah, <laughs> Garrus is sitting right at the table, like, uh huh. Yes, I heard he actually buried some corpses under the stage at Cora's den. I wouldn't put it past him. It's out of my hands, Rita. I'd bring her back in a second, but she doesn't want to come. I know, I know. I'll see if I can talk some sense into her next time I see her. Sorry, I'm kind of busy right now. So, uh, what can I do for you? What were you discussing with the Volus? Who, Doran? Oh, uh, I was just asking him about my sister. See, she worked for Doran before she left to... Ugh, sorry. I don't want to bore you with my problems. I'm interested to hear what you have to say. Well, okay. My sister Jenna left here to go work at Cora's Den. The problem is, she's working as an informant for CSEC. You know, eavesdropping on the people there. If they find out what she's doing, they'll kill her. Being an informant is a dangerous job. That's what I've been telling her. Mm, I don't know. Sometimes I think she stays there just to spite me. I hope it works out. Goodbye. All right. Yeah, so I'll grab her. Oh my god, come on. Constant saving and loading, Jesus. Commander, I wasn't expecting to see you again. Is there something you want? You can start by telling me the truth, Shorbin. I'm not sure what you're referring to. My experiments are... We're not buying it. Jaleed told us you've been after it. You... Spoke with Jaleed? Then you know about the data? No, but you're gonna tell me. Everything. You boys can go. Looks like my plans have changed. It's not as bad as you think, Commander. Jaleed and I just got a little... over our heads. Keep talking. The company we work for developed an experimental procedure for use in medical scanners. Jaleed and I saw even more potential. So we stole the plans and secretly developed a tool to scan the Keepers. Can you imagine? A tool that can actually get readings from the Keepers? What's so special about that? The Keepers are almost impossible to scan, and you can't capture them or get samples. They just self-destruct. After centuries here, we still don't know anything about them. Don't you see? We were the first to scan them, ever. You've seen it yourself, Commander. You know we can do it. Why are you trying to kill your partner? I'm not trying to kill him. Jaleed's job was to disseminate our initial findings. But he decided to keep the data for himself. Maybe to sell it. I don't know. So you're just trying to get back what Jaleed already stole? We lost our heads. We just couldn't let an opportunity like this pass us by. Commander, if you'll just continue gathering data for me, imagine what we might learn. And you'll stand to make a bit of a profit yourself, remember? I suppose a little scanning here and there won't hurt anyone? Very good. Maybe if you wouldn't mind speaking with Jaleed. The data you're gathering for me is useless if Jaleed won't help me analyze it. I'll go have a chat with him right now. Thank you. And happy scanning, Commander. Alright, so, uh... That got resolved very peacefully. So let's go ahead and, uh... 
go to Fist's place here. I like being attacked again. Alright. Uh, let's see what we can do. Look out! Hold the line. I'm on it. Hold the line. I'm on it. I've lost shields. don't like how much this sways. I'm on it. I don't know if I'm just bad or if it really is like fighting me because anytime I aim in I have like an asthma attack. Locked and loaded. I'm on it. I've lost shields. Fire. Thank you. Jesus, it wouldn't fire. Come on, up, up, up. God damn. Stop right there. Don't come any closer. Warehouse work. All the real guards must be dead. Stay back, or we'll shoot. This would be a good time to find somewhere else to work. Yeah, yeah, right. That's a good idea. Yeah, I'd never like Fist anyway. Alright. That was a little easy. It would have been quicker to just kill them. Shooting people isn't always the answer. Relax, Rex. Where's the Quarian? She's not here. I don't know where she is. That's the truth. He's no use to you now. Let me kill him. Wait, wait. I'll I don't know gun. where the Quarian is, but I know where you can find her. The Quarian isn't here. Said you'd only deal with the Shadow Broker himself. Face to face? Impossible. Even I was hired through an agent. Rex, where's your gun? Nobody meets the Shadow Broker. Ever. Even I don't know his true identity. But she didn't know that. I told her I'd set a meeting up. But when she shows up, it'll be Saren's men waiting for her. Give me the location. Now. Here on the wards, the back alley by the markets. She's supposed to meet them right now. You can make it if you hurry. What are you doing? The Shadow Broker paid me to kill him. I don't leave jobs half done. I'm in charge here. You ever pull another stunt like that? It was the only contract I had left. And don't we have something more pressing to worry about? Yeah, that but dead still, if we don't dude. Go now. Right. Run. Aim! Why aren't you... It's not allowing me to aim. There it goes. Come on, come on, come on. Alright, yeah, we're good. Not 
mistaken, she's down this way. Yep. Did you bring it? Where's the shadow broker? Where's Fist? They'll be here. Where's the evidence? No way. The deal's off. What the hell are those? Oh, those are Solarians. I've lost shields! He overheated my weapon, you son of a bitch. God. Fire! Okay, so I'm just never gonna use this because it doesn't wa doesn't want to fire at close range and it sways too much. I'm gonna wait till I get the skill for it. Fist set me up. I knew I couldn't trust him. Don't worry about Fist. He got what was coming to him. Then I guess there are two things I need to thank you for. Who are you? My name's Shepard. I'm looking for evidence to prove Saren's a traitor. Then I have a chance to repay you for saving my life. But not here. We need to go somewhere safe. We could take her to the human embassy. Your ambassador will want to see this anyway. You're not making my life easy, Shepard. Firefights in the wards, an all-out assault on Korra's den. Do you know how many... Who's this? A Quarian? What are you up to, Shepard? This Quarian can help us bring down Saren. I would have told you that if you hadn't jumped down my throat. I apologize, Commander. This whole thing with Saren has me a bit on edge. Maybe we should just start at the beginning, Miss... My name is Tali. Tali Zora Naraya. We don't see many Quarians here. Why did you leave the flotilla? I was on my pilgrimage. My rite of passage into adulthood. I've never heard of this before. It is a tradition among my people. When we reach maturity, we leave the ships of our parents and our people behind. Alone, we search the stars, only returning to the flotilla once we have discovered something of value. In this way, we prove ourselves worthy of adulthood. What kinds of things do you look for? It could be resources like food or fuel, or some type of useful technology or even knowledge that will make life easier on the flotilla. Through our pilgrimage, we prove that we will contribute to the community, rather than being a burden on our limited resources. Tell us what you found. During my travels, I began hearing reports of Geth. Since they drove my people into exile, the Geth have never ventured beyond the Vale. I was curious. I tracked a patrol of Geth to an uncharted world. I waited for one to become separated from its unit. Then I disabled it and removed its memory core. I thought the Geth fried their memory cores when they died. Some kind of defense mechanism. What did you find out? Most of the core was wiped clean. But I salvaged something from its audio banks. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. Hot damn. That's Saren's voice. This proves he was involved in the attack. He said Eden Prime brought him one step closer to finding the Conduit. Any idea what that means? The Conduit must have something to do with the Beacon. Maybe it's some kind of Prothean technology. Like a weapon. Wait, there's more. Saren wasn't working alone. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. And one step closer to the return of the Reapers. I don't recognize that other voice, the one talking about Reapers. Are they some kind of new alien species? According to the Memory Corps, the Reapers were a hyper-advanced machine race that existed 50,000 years ago. The Reapers hunted the Protheans to total extinction, and then they vanished. At least, that's what the Geth believe. Sounds a little far-fetched. The vision on Eden Prime. I understand it now. I saw the Protheans being wiped out by the Reapers. 
The Gath revere the Reapers as gods, the pinnacle of non-organic life. And they believe Saren knows how to bring the Reapers back. The Council is just going to love this. The Reapers are a threat to every species in Citadel space. We have to tell them. No matter what they think about the rest of this, those audio files prove Saren's a traitor. All right, Captain. You the need captain's to. Captain's right. We step need to present down. this to the council right away. This is something away. a little bigger. What about her, <laughs> the Quarian? She comes with us. My name is Tolly. You saw me in the alley, Commander. You know what I can do. Let me come with you. I thought you were on your pilgrimage. The pilgrimage proves we are willing to give of ourselves for the greater good. What does it say about me if I turn my back on this? Saren is a danger to the entire galaxy. My pilgrimage can wait. I'll take all the help I can get. Thanks. You won't regret this. Anderson and I will go ahead to get things ready with the Council. Take a few minutes to collect yourself, then meet us in the tower. Alright, so, as I said, I want to keep Caden there as much. I really like Tali. Let's go ahead and finish the quest over here with the Elcor. Strained greeting, human. This is really not a good time. I know who revealed your secret. It was a Turian named Septimus. Unbelieving. I know this Septimus, and he could not learn my secrets. The only way he could learn them is from the Asari consort. You are mistaken. See this here if you don't believe us. Confused. This is difficult to fathom. If the Turian could learn this on his own, dismayed, anyone can discover my secret. Uh... The Septimus is a powerful man, and it wasn't easy for him to find. Relieved. I suppose you are correct, human. Thank you for this information. Startled realization. I must speak with the consort. She will be most displeased with my actions. Anxious request. Please, human, if you will excuse me, I must go now. I'm sure she'll forgive you. It was an honest mistake. Doubtful. Perhaps you are right. I can only hope so. <laughs> the loud thumps Thankful. of him leaving. That was a great thing you did, Commander. Approving. You see, then, not all humans are as you say. I'm sure the Earth Clan stands to profit from this in some way. Apologetic. Do not listen to my Volus compatriot. It was a good thing you did, regardless of your intentions. Alright, so let's... Oop, scan this one. Let's uh, go ahead and move on to becoming the Spectre at the council meeting. I'll end the video and then we'll... Uh, we'll definitely make sure that we get to... Uh, what do you Excuse want? Excuse me, Commander Shepard. Could you spare a moment of your time? Commander Shepard, my name is Samesh Bhatia. Forgive the intrusion, but I have nowhere else to turn. It's no trouble. What can I do for you? My wife was a Marine. She was in the 212 on Eden Prime. The 212? Isn't that Ashley's unit? She might want to meet Mr. Bhatia. I've requested that my wife's body be returned to me for cremation, but the military has refused my request. I can put in a word with the Embassy and speed things along. The man in charge of my case is Mr. Bosker. When I last saw him, he was in the expensive bar over there. Thank you for your time. I just want to give my wife a proper funeral, and the respect she deserves. So, yeah, let's go ahead and solve this little case for this guy here. My goodness, you're Commander Shepard. Your activities made for quite a briefing in the Diplomatic Corps. Is there something I can do to assist you? Yes. A man named Samesh Batya is having some trouble claiming his wife's body. Ah, Mr. Batya. A good man in an understandably frustrating position. I wish I could help him. Serviceman Nirali Batya died on Eden Prime, 
as Mr. Batia no doubt told you. Her wounds are inconsistent with any type of weapon damage we've seen before. That is why her body is being held. You think her body might be dangerous or contaminated? No, Commander. Nurali Batia is not dangerous. Her body is in fact extremely valuable to the Alliance. The tests we're conducting may lead to better defenses against Geth attacks. Respectfully, Serviceman Batia may save more lives in death than she did in life. I understand what you're trying to do, but holding the body is wrong. Commander, you of all people the should other understand bodies also how far we the must same go weapon. to protect humanity. There's no way that she was the only one introduced to this new weapon across the hundreds of people that died. You can spare to give up one body. Not if we lose our humanity in the process. I'm out there fighting to stop crap like this. All right, Commander. You win. It was hard enough refusing Mr. Batia. I'm not going to risk an incident by refusing you. Tell Samesh that the body is being shipped back to Earth. I'll go now to see to it myself. Thank you, sir. All right. Hello again, Commander. Has there been any word? I reminded Mr. Bosker what we're fighting for. Your wife is coming home. Thank you. I will return home and begin my preparations. It does not bring me happiness, but it may bring me peace. Goodbye, Commander. All right. So we can head over to the, uh... Yeah, let's go ahead and finish this at the Citadel Tower. And then we'll complete everything else in the next video. So, come on. Hurry up. Load. Load. Come on. Udin is presenting the Quarian's evidence to the Council. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. And one step closer to the return of the Reapers. You wanted proof? There it is. This evidence is irrefutable, Ambassador. Saren will be stripped of his Spectre status, and all efforts will be made to bring him in to answer for his crimes. I recognize the other voice, the one speaking with Saren. Matriarch Benezia. Who's she? Matriarchs are powerful Asari who have entered the final stage of their lives. Revered for their wisdom and experience, they serve as guides and mentors to my people. Matriarch Benezia is a powerful biotic and she had many followers. She will make a formidable ally for Saren. I'm more interested in the Reapers. What do you know about them? Only what was extracted from the Geth's memory core. The Reapers were an ancient race of machines that wiped out the Protheans. Then they vanished. The Geth believe the Reapers are gods, and Saren is the prophet for their return. We think the Conduit is the key to bringing them back. Saren's searching for it. That's why he attacked Eden Prime. Do we even know what this Conduit is? Saren thinks he can bring back the Reapers. That's bad enough. Listen to what you're saying. Saren wants to bring back the machines that wiped out all life in the galaxy? Impossible. It has to be. Where did the Reapers go? Why did they vanish? How come we found no trace of their existence? If they were real, we'd have found something. I tried to warn you about Saren, and you refused to face the truth. Don't make the same mistake again. This is different. You proved Saren betrayed the Council. We all agree he's using the Geth to search for the Conduit, but we don't really know why. The Reapers are obviously just a myth, Commander. A convenient lie to cover Saren's true purpose. A legend he is using to bend the Geth to his will. Fifty thousand years ago, the Reapers wiped out all galactic civilization. If Saren finds the Conduit, it will happen again. Saren is a rogue agent on the run for his life. He no longer has the rights or resources of a Spectre. The Council has stripped him of his position. That is not good enough! You know he's hiding somewhere in the Traverse. Send your fleet in! A fleet cannot track down one man. A Citadel fleet could secure the entire region, keep the Geth from attacking any more of our colonies. Or it could trigger a war with the Terminus systems. We won't be dragged into a galactic confrontation over a few dozen human colonies. I can take Saren down. 
The commander's right. There is a way to stop Saren that doesn't require fleets or armies. No! It's too soon. Humanity is not ready for the responsibilities that come with joining the Spectres. You don't have to send a fleet into the Traverse, and the Ambassador gets his human Spectre. Everybody's happy. Commander Shepard, step forward. It is the decision of the Council that you be granted all the powers and privileges of the Special Tactics and Reconnaissance Branch of the Citadel. Spectres are not trained, but chosen. Individuals forged in the fire of service and battle. Those whose actions elevate them above the rank and file. Spectres are an ideal, a symbol, the embodiment of courage, determination, and self-reliance. They are the right hand of the Council, instruments of our will. Spectres bear a great burden. They are protectors of galactic peace, both our first and last line of defense. The safety of the galaxy is theirs to uphold. You are the first human Spectre, Commander. This is a great accomplishment for you and your entire species. I'm honored, Counselor. We're sending you into the Traverse after Saren. He's a fugitive from justice, so you are authorized to use any means necessary to apprehend or eliminate him. Any idea where to find him? We will forward any relevant files to Ambassador Udina. This meeting of the Council is adjourned. Congratulations, Commander. We've got a lot of work to do, Shepard. You're going to need a ship, a crew, supplies. You'll get access to special equipment and training now. You should go down to the CSEC Academy and speak to the Spectre Requisitions Officer. Anderson, come with me. I'll need your help to set all this up. I thought the Ambassador would be a little more grateful. He didn't even thank you. He's got a lot on his mind. Come on. Right behind you, Commander. All right. So now... I've spent quite a bit of time here, so now all I gotta do is finish up. I'm gonna go ahead and fill that out. Yeah, go ahead and fill that out as much as possible, because this is gonna be my main source of uh, getting uh, extended dialogue trees. We'll start focusing in and spreading out a little more, because this seems pretty focused on charm and handguns at the moment. But we'll start going into all the other stuff. So, spent a lot of time here on the Citadel, and uh, we got a few more quests to handle. And now that I have the charm that I need in order for me to, in order to get the branching dialogue that I want to resolve the situations the way that I want in this Paragon playthrough, we will uh, see how it goes in the next video, which I hope to see you guys in. So, see you later.